Hey guys, welcome back to A to Z Sports Debate with your host Adam Sinetti. Uh, for our topic today, we're going to be talking about would the New York Knicks carry Carmelo Anthony for Blake Griffin? Uh, please let me explain. Uh, the reason I wanted to talk about the topic is because the Knicks aren't really going anywhere this season, and for the next couple of years, it seems like they won't be able to contend for a title. Which, when you talk about Carme- uh, Carmelo Anthony, he loves the city of New York a lot. And he did try to buy into Phil Jackson uh, what he thinks he can make a title contender. But that obviously isn't the case on the surface. And I think for him, he might be seriously considered going to a team that can compete for an NBA title. Now, if he does unlift his trade clause and decides to become a free agent this summer, I there are a couple of teams I think that are best suited for him. You got the Miami Heat, the Cleveland Cavaliers, and you got the Los Angeles Clippers. Uh, I think the best team that Melo would fit well in would be the Los Angeles Clippers. Um, I say that is because, you know, the, the Clippers need another power forward and a, a guy that can shoot well. Melo is a person that can still shoot the ball. He has great offense. He, does, he doesn't have quite a good defensive game, but his offensive game has really progressed each season. Um, I also like it is because... I, I think Melo would fit in well with DeAndre Jordan and Chris Paul as that second guy. Uh, the Clippers really, they're a good team, but they're not an elite team. They have good, uh, different skill position players, but they need they don't have the right combination of players fitting in their rotation. Um, their starting five is always questionable to me, you know? I think Melo, would, with him being the power forward, you have Chris Paul, who's a great point guard in his career. DeAndre Jordan, who at least can play solid defense and really rebound the ball. And you got another guy like J.J. Reddick who's just a stud at shooting. Um, I think Melo would enjoy going to L.A. Yeah, it's a place where I think his family would also love it. But obviously, in order for this to happen, if you're the New York Knicks management, you want them to get something back in return, which I think the, the player that the Clippers would sacrifice a lot would be Blake Griffin. Uh, it's not to say that Griffin hasn't been a contributor he has during his young career but he lacks full intensity and this season he really has gotten himself in trouble with like uh, getting a fight with an employee and also breaking his hand in the process we don't know when he'll be back he might not even make it back for the playoffs so I think they might be done with him I'm not really quite sure how him and Chris Paul have been together it never really has quite worked out being the the one two guy like you see LeBron and Dwayne Wade how close they were or sometimes with KD and Russell Westbrook. So I think they need another guy that can match well with Chris Paul. And that can really only happen with a veteran player like Carmelo Anthony. So the Knicks would definitely get them. Now as a Knicks fan, would I be happy about it? Absolutely not. You know you have Porzingis. He'll develop into a good star. But Blake Griffin really isn't the type of leader that can really bring a team to a title. Um, I would even argue that in this point in Melo's career, he's not the guy. He can still be the guy, but he has to be re- reason to take the number two spot, you know? Or even be like a Chris Bosch. Chris Bosch is a great example. I mean, he, he played in Toronto during in his early career. He went to Miami in 2010, and he had to sacrifice, but he really filled that third spot well. And uh, if Melo could be somewhat like that, you know? Really be humble. Will he still play his spot? Because if he goes to L.A., I mean, they need defense, but they wouldn't mind him shooting. If he could just fit into that number two and number three behind Chris Paul, I think they'll be fine, you know? Um, I also I want him to just go anywhere where he can maybe get a shot at winning a wing, you know? Uh, I still, I, I reason I will also say I don't want him to go maybe to Cleveland is because, you know, LeBron's in Cleveland. And even though they're tight friends, it kind of makes them think like, oh, you're going to where the king is, you know, quote unquote. Uh, and if you go to Miami, you know, LeBron already went to Miami and won two titles. So it's kind of like you have to go on another big time superstar. Melo going to the Clippers makes sense because Chris hasn't even got Chris Paul, DeAndre Jordan, J.J. Reddick, and Jamal Charles, and also Blake Griffin. they never even been to the Western Conference Finals. So yeah, they're elite players, but they don't have any finals experience. So if he goes there, and let's just say, shockingly, they win in a couple of years, or maybe next season, whenever, 
it would be a big accomplishment on all their parts. And for Melo, you know? So I think that's the greatest spot for him. Uh, it could be elsewhere, but I just think his best chance is going to the Clippers if it does happen. Uh, now, if uh, if he's foolishly Melo, wants to stay in New York, uh, I think it hurts his legacy, and I think he'll never get a shot of winning a title. But let me know what you guys think. If there's another team out there that I haven't mentioned that you would like to see him go to, please let me know in the comment below. And uh, once again, thank you for listening in.